Hello everyone, welcome to Scaria.com. I am Hina Khan and today the topic of our lecture is suffocation and asphyxia. Now it is a very important mode of uh, death and uh, it is of uh, much interest for all the forensic experts and practitioners working out there. And um, these mode of terminologies are defined over here in this lecture. In the first section, basically, we'll be dealing with uh, asphyxia. Now, uh, first of all, obviously, the definitions regarding uh, the asphyxia, the terminologies which we use uh, while dealing with these asphyxial deaths that will be dealt in this uh, section. And most importantly, we'll be de dealing with the nature of asphyxia. Obviously, uh, different, uh, there are different types of asphyxia relating to different modes of death are going to be discussed in detail what is the nature of asphyxia or the underlying pathologies uh, will be discussed here in this first section. Moving on, we'll be discussing the mechanical asphyxia and the terminologies related to this mechanical asphyxia particularly. And then we'll be dealing with asphyxia versus hypoxia. So there is a comparison. Um, asphyxia basically deals with the um, uh, lack of oxygen and the death caused by the lack of oxygen. And we'll be comparing it with hypoxia, uh, which is a condition basically characterized by the lack of oxygen, uh, but not obviously always leading to death. Uh, in the second section, we'll be dealing with the signs of asphyxia, the most important sign being the petechial hemorrhages. Uh, then we'll be dealing with the congestion, edema, and cyanosis, uh, which are another clinical signs observed by the uh, pathologists, in, uh, specifically in the asphyxial deaths. Uh, what are their definitions and uh, how do you basically diagnose uh, these conditions, the congestion, edema, and cyanosis? They'll be discussed in detail over here. Uh, now, the autopsy findings uh, which are particular to asphyxial deaths are uh, dealt in this section, the second, second section. Then we'll be dealing with the histological findings uh, observed by the chemical pathologist, of course. And then uh, moving on, we'll be dealing with the chemical changes, if any, found in the blood, uh, at the blood level, and what are basically, why are they significant, all, uh, all of this will be discussed in this uh, second section. Moving on, we'll be discussing in the third section, the suffocation and smothering. Uh, as I was discussing, there are different levels of asphyxia and different modes of uh, asphyxial deaths. So suffocation and smothering are two very most important modes of asphyxial deaths. And uh, they basically include the overlaying of infants, which is also known as the sudden infant death syndrome. Uh, the plastic bad suffocation, is, this is also included in these kind of deaths, that is basically the suffocation and smothering. And the autopsy signs of suffocation are also discussed in this third section. Then we'll be dealing in the fourth section with the gagging and choking. Uh, which are the other modes of asphyxial deaths and uh, gagging and, and choking is again very common and uh, basically it's also known as the cafe coronier syndrome uh, because it is related to the eatables uh, so it is known as the cafe coronier. How do you basically differentiate between the gagging and the choking? Uh, this is again uh, uh, discussed in the fourth section. Now moving on to the fifth section, we'll be dealing with the traumatic and the postural asphyxia. So traumatic asphyxia is uh, one of the very common homicidal deaths observed and that will be discussed in this fourth and the final section. And the features of traumatic asphyxial deaths are again very important, obviously on autopsy findings, uh, for a chemical, um, uh, for a forensic uh, expert who is performing an autopsy, you should be knowing what are the features for the traumatic asphyxia. And then again, the postural asphyxia is a, an, again another term which is very commonly used and that will be discussed in this fourth and the fifth and the final section. So uh, I hope you want to learn more about the suffocation and asphyxia. Uh, so do watch the other sections to this uh, lecture as well. Thank you for watching scardia.com.